Hey guys, my name is Cami Lobliner and I'm a 15 year old high school student athlete from the state of Tennessee. I play soccer and I do wrestling, so I thought I would be an appropriate candidate to discuss this topic because I'm looking to play college sports and I currently play at the high school and the club level. So in our current day and age, more and more people are looking to find their true identities and discover their true selves. So many people feel that they are not really the gender they were born as and they decide to transition going from male to female or female to male or from male to an another gender or female to another gender. In regards to sports, some transgender females are coming to play sports in women's leagues. Coming from this, there have been some instances where there have been state championships won by biological males in the women's leagues. The most well-known example of this was in Connecticut, where a state track championship was won by Terry and Andrea in the 55 meter dash. They placed first and second and many female athletes were upset about this. Recently, Penn State swimmer Leah Thomas, who previously competed as a male for three years, broke many school records and broke the Ivy League record in the 500 yard freestyle. Some of her opponents spoke out about this, but they spoke out anonymously. There have been like many more examples of transgender females competing at the high school and collegiate level. But a thing that stood out to me was that there was a New Zealand weightlifter who competed as a trans woman in the Olympics. Now we're not talking some average state championship. We're talking about the biggest stage in the world for sports. The amazing women who compete in the Olympics have been literally working their whole lives to compete at that level. And to just let males come into that like level of sport, it's just completely unfair. I myself am a soccer player and I've been playing soccer for 10 years and my high school team went to state, we won state. I know that an average male my age will probably be equivalent to the same level of skill I am and I started on my high school state championship winning team. <laughs> now this isn't me trying to say that men are better than women in any way. They are just more biologically gifted at birth and there's nothing that we can do about it. We need to remember that we created women's sports so that females can have an equal opportunity at competition. While providing fair competition for biological women, we also need to find a platform for these transgender women to compete at fairly.